Junkfoodtaster.com is episode 2906 and this is a battle again and this time it's a Milkschnitte versus the Nesquik snack so yes this is basically a product which is I think mainly sold in Germany by Ferrero and it's very famous here and has a lot of fans I'm not quite sure in how many other countries these are shipped. I think in Netherlands and stuff. I'm not quite sure. And this is probably more popular less than less quick snack. Uh, but I think both of them, this, this is now like a chocolate milk thing and, and this is like uh, milk only. Uh, but I think it's like the same targeting group, same audience. Yeah, competing for the same market, so to speak. So I think it's a fair battle. And yeah, if you know the junk food taster battle, there are seven categories. And the first category is packaging design. So I kind of liking this little rabbit here. So, this quick rabbit, a quickie. Quickie is a rabbit. All right. Okay. Um. Here, yes, he's jumping around. I kind of like it, you have to say this. And the Milkschnitte comes now in a, a 10 pack in such a box. Uh, looks a little bit boring, I would say. Yeah. Let's open the box. So, and here they are stacked in the box. This is, looks kind of cute you now. Okay. Yeah, it, uh, it looks kind of, compared to this, it looks kind of, this looks fancy and the mix is kind of boring, so I'm giving the Nestle Nesquik snack a point for packaging design. Now comes the looks of the product. So therefore we have to unwrap the product, haven't we? And yeah, the milk that has a really giant fan base. There we go. I think it looks really kind of cute. Yeah. And now the Nesquik. <laughs> the Nesquiks are hard to separate. Okay. And Nesquik, I have to say, this looks quite similar. Um, and has this, this Nestle printed onto this. Yeah, what this is special door or something. Um, I think I'm giving both the point for looks. Both some awesome sandwiches. Yeah, milk schnitten means literally the milk sandwich. Now the smell, starting with the milk schnitte first. And I think the milk schnitte is probably the best smelling product ever. Yeah, it's a very pleasant. <laughs> you could make perfume. <laughs> Not really, but it's it's a very pleasant a smell. Now the Nestle. Yeah, the Nestle is a deep cocoa. Cocoa smell. Also not bad. <laughs> it's both its own um, appeal. So I'm writing both again a point. So now the all important taste test, and I forget to cut them, didn't I? So here we go. I always cut stuff. Yep. <laughs> Basically, kind of useless to cut it. Let's do it anyways. Okay. So here inside this big a lot of cocoa cream. I don't have to clean the knife. All right, and now the milk schnitte. So here we go. Yeah, cut it. I think the milk schnitte looks more awesome. But anyways, <laughs> now the taste test. I unboxed already two new ones. Milk schnitte first. Okay. Definitely honey. Yeah. Yeah, excellent. Very creamy. 
um, kind of fatty. Yeah. Yeah, it's a Ferrero quality basically. And who's the biggest Ferrero fan? Me. Oh, me, Schnitta. Okay, um, action. So, and now the Nesquik. By the way, what do you think about the Nesquik bunny? Professor Bun Bun? I only like blue bunnies. Hmm? Inferior. <laughs> right, so the professor is very biased. So I'm eating the Nestle. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, this is very much different. Uh, it tastes kind of sandy, dry. Um, um, the cream here has like a sugar bomb. Tastes kind of strange. So I think just one point. Taste. So. The real three point. And that's the one point. So, nutrition facts. So, nutrition facts is kind of easy. Here we go. With a mix near the table. Uh, Mixnitte has uh, approximately 30% uh, sugar in it and 28 fat, so it's really fatty and sugar. So, and the Nestle is quite the opposite way around. Here we go. So, the Nestle has a lot of um, carbon hydrates in it. Yep. And less fat but I what I dislike very much is this it didn't separate carbon hydrates and sugar yeah uh, I don't know this is like this German law you can decide on your own um, so I sort of disqualifying the Nestle yeah yeah please make a proper table don't hide anything and like kudos to them also <laughs> It's kind of, kind of um, extreme nutrition fact. Yeah, um, this is not really this is like you should consider this a candy. Yeah, of course. So I think nutrition facts go to the Ferrero. To being honest, so ingredients. So in terms of ingredients, they are quite similar. Um, here, baking agents and stuff. Emulgators, yeah, it's like a sophisticated food product, needs sophisticated ingredients. And on this one, it's not really different. Here they state the E numbers, uh, yep, but in the end, it's the same, uh, probably. So, our rating, I think, both get a point for ingredient. So, then I already prepared the price. Um, one gram of this milk schnitte costs um, 0 0.71 cents and the one gram of the Nestle costs 0.59 cents. So, milk schnitte is cheaper. Uh, you could argue then that this is like a 10 pack and this came just in a 4 pack which is true, but I also checked a uh, Milkschnitte 5 pack and then it's still cheaper. So Milkschnitte gets also the point for price. So summing it up. So here we go. Yeah, the Milkschnitte gets an incredible good result. 8 out of 9. Here we go. And the Nestle got 5 out of 9. Basically, the only thing which is kind of not good at the Milkschnitt is the uh, packaging design. <laughs> I don't know. It's 
kind of old school. It's really like the uh, Kinder chocolate stuff. Yeah, look at this. It's also here. Professor Bam Bam. Looks similar. It's from Ferrero. Kinder. Yeah, that's right. Okay. So, yeah, have you tried them both? Then let me know. I think this is more available all around the world than the Milkschnitt. If you come to Germany, then try it. It's a very, yeah, interesting product. Um, very tasty. I think you don't want to eat too much of them. <laughs> because, like, it's, it's, it's sort of fatty. Um, yeah, and the... Nestle basically lost because it doesn't taste that good. Uh, it tastes like a sugar bomb. And they didn't told actually how much sugar is in there, which uh, uh, lost the point for nutrition. Yeah, basically, yeah, that's only that it's more expensive than the competitor. So, yeah, <laughs> this was a little battle. I hope you enjoyed it. Did you enjoy it, Professor? Yes, yes. Now I eat some milk, milk sandwich snickies. Bye bye. So, see you soon, Professor. All right, that's it. I hope you, yeah, I say this all the I did it third, three time, third time I'm saying this. I'm kind of tired now. I have to apologize. I shouldn't do review, reviews in this state, but anyways, thanks for watching. Gut, das ist jetzt Mischschnitte und ja, das ist nicht nur Mischschnitte genau, sondern es ist Mischschnitte gegen Nesquik Snack. Äh, Habe ich jetzt die beiden genommen, weil ich denke mal, die ähm, ist ja ein ähnliches Produkt. Das eine ist zwar, also eine ist mehr Kakaolastig ne? und das hat höchstens sozusagen eine Art Kakao ähm, Teig Brötchen. Ja, wie auch immer. Das ist ein bisschen schwierig zu beschreiben. Da, wo man halt anfasst. Ne? Genau, dann hier die normalen Battle-Regeln. Regeln. Und zwar Packaging Design habe ich an Nesquik gegeben. Sieht einfach fetziger aus. Hier mit Quickie, dem Häschen. Und Milchschnitte kommt zu Altbacken her. Ist in dem Kinderschokolade-Design, ne, war. Aber ist jetzt nicht so der Bringer. Genau. Dann äh, Looks, also vom Produkt, sehen wir hier nochmal, habe ich beiden Punkt gegeben, sieht beides sehr hübsch aus. Ja, genau. Dann Smell, äh, riechen tun sie beide gut, Die, das mischende Teil ist vielleicht das bestriechendste Produkt überhaupt. Es riecht wirklich gut, ja. Genau. Das hat so einen intensiven Kakaogeruch. Wie ja, als würde man einen Kakaopulver schnüffeln. Genau. Dann also Geschmack, die wichtigste Wertung, die auch dreifach gewertet wird. Also die Milchschnitte ist schon Bombe. Könnte man, ein bisschen könnte man kritisieren, dass es etwas zu fettig ist. Ja, sehr cremig. Und hat noch so einen Honiggeschmack. Also man schmeckt sofort den Honig raus. Eigentlich sehr lecker. Hier, kleines Honig fast. Genau. Die, äh, bei Nestle ist es genau umgedreht. Da ist dann, Nestle ist eher eine Zuckerbombe als eine Fettbombe. Genau. Kriegt nur einen Punkt. Finde ich, also schmeckt nicht so gut. Und der, die, die, ähm, wo man anfasst, ne? ist auch ein bisschen trocken und sch ja, so staubig. Ne? Also ist nicht so geschmeidig wie das Milchschnitte. Dann geht es weiter. Ähm, Nutrition Facts gewinnt Milchschnitte trotz eines Hammer-Fettwertes. Eins einfach weil, hat einen ganz einfachen Grund, weil die Herrschaften von Nestle sich darum drücken, die Kamera drückt sich auch schon, sich darum drücken, den Zuckerwert anzugeben. Ja, die sagen nur Kohlenhydrate, irgendwie, dass die, das müssen die europäischen Gesetze sein, dass die sich noch aussuchen können, ob sie es ausweisen oder nicht. Ich finde es ehrlich gesagt ein bisschen dumm. Also man kann, ich gehe mal davon aus, dass es 50 Zucker ist oder sowas. Ja, das knistert fast schon zwischen die Zähne. <lacht> okay, deshalb haben die ja keinen Punkt bekommen. 
Jetzt muss man ja sagen, ich meine, das weiß ja irgendwie mittlerweile jeder, dass Milchschnitte äh, nährwertmäßig nicht unbedingt das gesündeste ist. Aber das muss man auch Ferrero anrechnen. Ja, ich meine, wozu gibt es die Nährwerttabelle, ne? Die kann sich ja jeder angucken und die sind zu fair und geben das alles ordentlich an, so, ne? Genau. So, weiter geht's. Preisgewinn auch und Milchschnitte ähm, ist jetzt hier in dem Fall billiger. Im 10-Pack, im 5-Pack ist es auch noch billiger. Genau, dann haben wir halt den Milchschnitte gewinnt ziemlich massiv. Und ja. Genau, würde ich ihm zustimmen. Es gibt es offenbar, ich habe das versucht zu recherchieren, es gibt es offenbar nicht im Ausland. Das ist also wahrscheinlich, ja, also es wird wahrscheinlich nur von Ferrero Deutschland hergestellt oder so. Genau. Ja, wie seht ihr das? Habt ihr beide Produkte probiert? Wer schmeckt euch besser? Ich weiß, dass Mischnitte, Mischnitte hat eine riesengroße Fanbase. Uh, ja, meldet euch mal alle. Und das wäre soweit. Danke fürs Zusehen und bis zur nächsten Folge.